What's up, Dream Team? So I had so much great content that I had been storing and recording for you guys, and my phone has been acting up. So I'm having to re-record some things, but here's one of the videos that I originally had for you. Um, it's about post bag programs and my recommendations. Some of the things that you can potentially do if you feel like you need to boost your GPA, boost your experiences and things like that. So stay tuned for the video and here we go. So as the title said, here's why I do not recommend a post baccalaureate program. So. Post baccalaureate programs, um, most of the time, are non-degree seeking programs, meaning you don't get a bachelor's, a master's, an associate, whatever. You don't get a degree by doing the program. You get maybe a certificate of completion or sometimes nothing, depending on the school and if it's an actual program in their catalog or if it's a DIY, put some courses together so that you can um, gain GPA credit towards your undergrad um, GPA. And the main reason why I do not recommend anyone doing a post back program is because you're paying out of pocket for that. If you're rich and you got money to spare, you got people who are willing to fund your education, kudos, do that. But if you're a person like majority of students that I know and people that I know um, that aren't stacked and aren't, you know, having money just to splur splurge and spare everywhere, then you want to find a program in which you can get some type of financial aid. <clears throat> so... What I'm saying is don't do a post back program, but do enroll in classes at a local college or university if you want to boost your GPA. However, there's a way that you can do it. And I'm gonna give you the secret. Maybe a secret to some, maybe a secret to none. But if you want to enroll in classes, here's what you have to do. When you're applying for classes, apply, apply as a second bachelor's degree seeking student that is the key so let's say me I had a degree in psychology when I applied for my local college um, initially I was on the post back program and I had to take out buku private loans that I'm still paying back many many years later um, in order to fund those classes that I was taking then somehow I end up deciding to apply as a second degree um, seeking student and I was able to qualify for financial aid Yes, so I had no money out of pocket. Of course, that's money that I had to pay back on the back end. But think about the interest rate that you're paying for an educational loan versus a private loan. It was almost double or triple the difference. So again, what you do is, like I said, I was a psychology major. I went in and applied as a biology major student because you can't apply for a second um, bachelor's degree in the same degree that you have. So for instance, most... Um, pre-med students or students who have always had an interest in going into medical school but still want to boost um, boost their GPA are most likely a science major already. So they're either biology, they may be um, chemistry, they may be biochem. All you really have to do is find a science major that is unlike your first degree. So if you were a biology major, then do a second degree in chemistry. If you're a chemistry major, do a second degree in biology. If you were um, a person who did um, exercise science or whatever then do a second degree in biology if you get what I'm saying so that way that way by selecting majors like that that are already science majors you're already on a track to say I need certain science courses I can't go in as a second degree student majoring in communications and expect them to allow me to take a biology one-on-one -on -one course or an organic chemistry two course because that may be what you need. You have to go in as a science student. And what I personally did was when I signed up for these courses, because I had already taken most of my prerequisites, I only needed the latter half, like I needed organic chemistry and I need physics. Um, generally, you can't take organic chemistry if you haven't had um, Gen Chem 1. So when I enrolled in the organic chemistry course, I emailed the professor to make sure they would allow me to sit in that course and take the course for credit. And I basically said, hey, you know, I'm a secondary student. I already have a degree in XYZ and I've already taken the prerequisites for this course. So I've already taken Bio 1, I've already taken Gen 1, whatever, and I just need this course as well. Um, I can say my copy of my previous graduate transcript is on file at the school. So. And when you're doing your second 
bachelor's degree program, you do not have to complete that program and graduate. <laughs> Remember that you're really only enrolling as a second degree bachelor's student in order to qualify for financial aid. So if you only need to take five classes or one class or two classes or three classes, how many ever classes you need. Once you've completed those classes, you just don't re-enroll the next year. The loans will automatically roll over X, Y, Z. They're gonna, you know, add that to whatever amount of money you already owe. If you owe nothing, then now you'll owe um, for educational loans. By the time you have um, finished your medical school, you'll go into um, deferment for that six month period or how how many ever months that you have left for your deferment and then you'll pay it back at a later time but the key is your goal is to once you've boosted your gpa to the point where you feel confident to apply you're applying that cycle you get in that cycle of course that's the goal you get in immediately so that way those loans automatically get deferred if let's say you um finish your classes for you finish your classes in may and then you don't go and you don't enroll in school within that six month period then of course your loans will go into repayment so i just wanted to add that little piece in here this is how you can save money and not feel like you are struggling and going to have to pay back a loan that is double what you initially took out because that's pretty much what the situation that i'm in right now so again do not ever 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 apply for a post back program unless you just have money that you don't mind giving away. Again, this video is specifically for post back programs. I will do another video on special master's programs and things like that because I also have a master's degree. And that video will be completely tailored to what to look for in a special master's program. So again, check out that video when it comes out. It should be dropping right after this video. I also have a video on gap year stuff, personal statements, but Again, hopefully if my phone ever acts right and I get these videos back, I'll, able, I'll be able to give you the original content because I don't want to miss out on anything and those were kind of like already together. But again, I'm Dream with Shan. This is a video on post back programs, secrets, ways to saving money. Guys, I will see you guys in my next video.